Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third in our series of Ask the Expert interviews on the Thermoscientific Orbital Explorers 120 mass spectrometer. My name is Maciej Bromirski, and I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager for the Hybrid Instruments. And today we are speaking with Olaf Scheibner, who is the team leader for sales support in EMEA. Hello, Olaf, and thank you for joining us today to talk about the mass accuracy and polarity switching on the Orbitrap Explorers 120. Thank you, Maciej. So, hello, everyone. Let's have a look into these two exciting topics. So, to point out uh, the most important, so the Orbitrap Explorers 120, um, it is a general purpose mass spectrometer. So, we have a lot of applications that run perfectly on this mass spectrometer. Um, part of it being food safety testing, environmental testing, clinical research analysis, forensic toxicology, pharmaceutical analysis. So this is a broad range of application that benefits from the high resolution of this instrument and the high sensitivity. Uh, but today we especially want to look into um, aspects of mass accuracy and polarity switching on this system. So to remind you, um, the specifications of this system are that uh, we say, um, better than 3 ppm mass accuracy with external calibration, so you just run the normal system calibration, let the system go. Better than well, 1 ppm mass accuracy with internal calibration, which is to say um, you take a background component, like a phthalate signal or something like that, and you monitor that, and the system will recalibrate each spectrum on the base of that signal. And um, as an addition to the Explorer series instruments, we have the internal calibration easy IC. And if you engage that, you will have mass accuracy better than 1 ppm for at least five days. On the other hand, there is a polarity switching on this system, um, which is uh, better than 1.4 hertz if you run in full scan. Just to remind you, this means uh, that we run a uh, full scan in positive mode, we switch into negative mode, run a full scan in negative mode, and switch back to positive mode. So this full cycle gives you um, a scan rate of 1.4 hertz on both polarities each. Um, so this is the fastest polarity switching that you that exists on high resolution uh, mass accuracy instruments. And this, of course, uh, gives you great opportunities in the analysis um, of complex samples. To look into the mass accuracy, um, what is new to the Explorers series instruments, this is the EZIC internal calibration. Um, so it sits in the, in the front of the instrument more or less in the iron path. And technically it's a, it's a little EI source that produces fluorinthine ions, which work very well on both polarities. And with this device, we can introduce a well-known species for internal calibration. So we know exactly what we calibrate on. But on the other hand, we can um, control the um, signal and intensity. Uh, so we don't put too many ions into the system, uh, which would affect mass accuracy, uh, mass um, uh, sensitivity, sorry, uh, which would um, affect sensitivity of the system uh, with too many ions of the calibrand um, being in the scans. If we look at that, how this works, um, here we have the data of three different instruments in three different parts of the world uh, where we looked uh, into the mass distribution um, over a six day course. Um, and you see that no matter which mass you're looking at, we have one calibrant mass um, at the mass of 202, um, but still wherever the mass um, you want to have accurate is, that doesn't matter. It works over the whole mass spectrum and it works over the whole set of six days. So there's a very good instrument to instrument reliability and um, you have constant mass accuracy uh, better than one PBM um, for a long time. What is that good for now? So let's look into an application. In this case, I would like to look into the mycotoxin analysis. Um, so if you look into um, a whole bunch of mycotoxins, um, so this is a, a multi-class analysis. Um, there are very different types of mycotoxins. And so this is a broad range of compounds to look into. And they appear on both polarities. So this is where the polarity switching comes in. Uh, because now you can have this broad range of compounds still done in one run because the system is equipped with a very fast polarity switching device and it does it uh, on a long base 24 7 no matter without um, compromising mass accuracy or sensitivity of the system on the other hand we still have the high resolution of this system uh, so 
specifically mycotoxins appear in very complex samples very often. And still you have, due to the high resolution, high mass accuracy, uh, you have the option to dis dis discriminate um, your compounds of interest from background ions, any sort of matrix, other compounds, whatever you may think of, think about. Uh, the system unambiguously can separate these on the spectrometric level. And with that, even out of full scan, you can unambiguously uh, detect and identify uh, your compounds of interest in a very easy way uh, with high efficiency. How can we do that? So look at this example uh, for one component, uh, which can be detected in both polarities. You can see this here, that as well in the full scan as in the negative scan, you, this appears. And on both polarities, uh, if you high reproducibility and very good mass accuracy, uh, that doesn't matter where you look into the into the peak. So scan to scan variability is very very low, uh, which means that we don't need to sum up or um, average scans as other devices maybe need to do. So an orbit app doesn't need to do that. So we can take every scan as is. And on the other hand, we even have the additional information uh, that alongside with the full scans, we can in a data dependent manner we can create MS2 spectra which give us a next level of identification uh, because we always have the confirming ions um, together with the full scan mass accuracy in order to have an unambiguous identification of the compounds. And look at this here, the mass accuracy even of the fragments is a very, very good one. So there is no compromise even on the MS2 level in terms of mass accuracy. And with this, you have the highest confidence in the data that's possible. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you, Olaf. This was great, uh, very insightful and helpful uh, to to look at the mass accuracy and polarity switching for the orbit of explosive 120 mass spectrometer. And of course, I'd like to thank the audience as well uh, for joining and for listening uh, to this uh, version of our uh, interview. Uh, I'd like to remind uh, that you can learn more about the cap latest capabilities of the orbit of explosive 120 mass spectrometer by visiting our website at Thermo Fisher dot com slash orbit of explorers 120 uh, and uh, we'd like to invite you to our next ask the expert interview um, and again thank you and goodbye